we're going to fix it by spamming Terra Poison, Shadow Monkey, and Rats. Cleanup crew. Uh, how good is Ting Lu into this matchup? Ting Lu's not bad. Let's do it. Moxie, did you already have Poison Charge with the... Yeah, yeah, I did. So, the reason I think Terra Poison goes kind of hard is because it's still a good defensive Terra into... Um, it's still a good defensive Terra into Chi Yu plus Fluttermane. It's not as good, but also it improves the matchup versus Mortal Spin Glamora, which is an answer to Annihilate if you just stall it out. So, I think it could go hard. I think it could really go hard. It also lets us clear hazards. Because we have the uh, Amoongus and the Annihilate, so we can swap and stuff. I feel like... I feel naked without the mustache. I had it for like a month. Chen Pao Fluttermane. Let's go ahead and just go for the Terra Poison Bulk Up Protect. That's kind of a crazy play, but I'm going to make it. They withdraw the Chien Pao. All right. There's the hands. As they don't Terra. They protect. Wow. Okay. Um, I, like, heavily disagree with that play. You, like, you never protect versus a mouse ape. Let's protect and... I mean, how much do I lose from just attacking here? I don't really lose much from just going for it. Like, they can fake out me, but like, let's, let's be real, what do I lose? Because they made double the mouse hold? They're withdrawing the Flutter main. Alright. I, I have to remember what rank I'm playing at right now. I might just be able to stomp. If they don't fake out, I'm going to throw up. If they didn't fake out, I'm going to throw up. Alright, um, they have chosen to sack this. Big fist. By the way, um, this is a Annihilate set that I made when the game first came out, so full transparency, the EVs on this are not ideal. I had no idea what I wanted it to be, so I just made it super specially defensive because I thought bulk up would be the meta. I was running like just pure bulk up spam and not um, like a good set. So maybe I'll retrain this. So they didn't protect the Chen Pao last time. I'm going to assume that they can't. It's a bold assumption. But, you know, we're playing at like, I don't, I don't know what rank. Ice Spinner, we're going to eat that. 
Nice. Little D Gleam. Pick up the rest with the uh, Drain Punch because I know he's Sash. <laughs> the flow chart does not account for Phantom Force plus Pop Bomb. <laughs> that was my favorite tweet where it was like, oh, my mouse hit flow chart doesn't have anything for this. <laughs> and it was like the most unhinged turn one. <laughs> All right, we're going to take nothing. All right, well, we took something. Not much, though. Okay, um, should be able to win if I just protect here and try to go for some extra damage. I would assume they just want to go for like a Dazzling Gleam or a Shadow Ball. Alright, I'm going to lose my Flutter, but Ting lose in the back, so that should be a W. Yeah, now Calgit versus Fissure, yes. Other life orb, interesting. It's getting the goat, Ting Lu. Alright, and we'll just go ahead and we'll Rage Fist this. Heavy Slam's a guaranteed one-shot versus Flutter. Much love for you for Midley. Thank you, I appreciate it. It's gonna bounce off of me, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. That was that dollar store Shadow Ball. And we get a Defiant Boost. <laughs> it really was the dollar store Shadow Ball. My bad, guys. <laughs> Good game. Yeah, I, I need to stress that this uh, this Annihilate EV spread is very strange, and I haven't looked at it in two months. Actually, I might show you guys. So I'm, I'm going to show you guys the Annihilate EV spread, right? I'm going to show you guys the Annihilate EV spread we're using to dig ourselves out of this uh, rank hole. Uh, and it is it is not pretty. All right, um, yeah, we're gonna do it again. We're gonna do it again in the back here. I think I still bring this, but my last Mon, I'm actually tempted to leave the Tinglu at home here. It's mostly physical attackers. I'm gonna go T-Tar. Cause I might be able to break a multi-skill with like sand and stuff. I don't know, let a two-month-old Mox EV spread cook a little longer? Nah, this is burnt. It's completely burnt. Did I turn off the music? No, there's music, okay. So, yeah, that's why I let off with the Annihilate. I'm defiant. I'm just gonna get plus one right now. And not really concerned about the Ting Lu. Unless they want to go for a Fissure. Just Rage Fist and beat up. Yeah, this uh, this Gyarados is not surviving turn one. Or maybe it is, because I have like no attack investment in the stupid Annihilate spread. Cool. Watch, he's gonna go for Fissure and land it. Yep.
All right, cool. That's D Knight. Um, they typically carry low kick in, I think, right now. So what I'm just going to do is Terra low kick. I kind of want to pop bomb. But I think it's better if I just, yeah, I think it's better if I just pop bomb this and break a possible Sash. Or not Sash, break a multi skill. Get some decent damage. So low kick should two shot versus most Ting Lu. All right, what weird pair am I about to see? Flying, that's fine. Honestly, my goal here is just to send everything in range of uh, Specs Flutterman. One, two, I'm not wide lens by the way. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. See? No need. I swear if he Terra Blasted my T-Tar. Okay, we're good. So I'm expecting just to take like a um a fissure into my Tyranitar again, because I'd imagine they would just click that thing twice. Oh the earthquake, okay. The question is. All right, also, that's like a really slow Dragonite because it's Terra Blast went after my Rock Slide. So I could Rock Slide here and just Dazzling Gleam. Actually, I think Rock Slide Moonblast would do it. What's safer? What do they have in the back again? Um, Man, I really want to lock into Thunderbolt, but it's not worth it because they have a possible ground type. I think I just lock Moonblast. From this range, unless it's AV, Moonblast should do it. Alright, well it's it's AV. That's a that's a little bit of an issue. It it, it was AV actually. <laughs> All right, cool. They went for the T-Tar. I live. We know that this thing's really slow. And I think I take Sand. I don't take Sand. Okay. I mean, that was kind of unfortunate. I kind of figured the AV would be on the Fissure Ting Lu. Expect the unexpected in low ladder. I don't even think that's true. All right, maybe they're just, maybe they'll just protect the. No, they can't protect because they're AV. Or they're like me and they're just running max speed for no reason. All right. Yeah, uh, I think I would have won if I just rock slided. To be honest. That's a little unfortunate. My question is, what item is on the Ting Lu? Because we didn't see Leftovers Recovery, and I I'm, I guarantee you that my Moonblast should do more than 49% with the specs. The ladder always resets on the first of each month. That's the only way we're going to get out of this hole. Okay. Uh, this is Glamora spam, which is actually the whole reason we did this. I think I always bring you and you.
Um, maybe it was safety goggles on the Ting Lu. I don't know. Maybe like a guav berry. What if I was tidying up mouse hold? How much would that break my opponent? Oh wait, this set actually does super negatively into Dondozo, doesn't it? I'm gonna protect here. Maybe the beat up just KOs. Maybe I should protect actually. You know, I have a Moongus in the back. I don't think it'll be an issue if I just hot bomb it. I guess beat up would be better, it's unresisted. I just want to break a possible sash. Because I don't want to tear a poison immediately. Why, why pop bomb over Super Fang on this set? I'm not a big fan of not being able to pick up KOs with my uh, mouse hold, so I actually prefer pop bomb. Also, I have Ruination on the team, so I'm like, whatever. Alright, unfortunate to find out it's Yon Dozo. Mousehold would swap first if I do this. Go Fluttermane and then Amoongus, and that'll clear the hazards. So because Mousehold swaps first, Amoongus hits the field, gets rid of the toxic spikes, and then Fluttermane comes in. You're using a Naya hold. I think you're the only person in the entire world who has ever called it not Mouse Ape. Alright. So I forget if it was safety goggles on this Dondozo or not. But I'm gonna have to try. So here I am actually going to Terra Poison and bulk up. <laughs> and get in the mouse hold. Because if they want to go for a Toxic, we saw them scatter Toxic debris earlier, so they can't actually be Corrosion. the Terra. Why poison over fire? You're about to see why. There we go. That's why. I think they just want a spiky shield. Isn't a burn more threatening? 
Um, yeah, but you you know what's gonna burn you. You can't really prevent switching in on T spikes. And also, I don't want to be weak to Palafin. So like, Terra Water is similar, but offers less like acid benefits. All right, clean two shot. It woke up. It's gonna go for a yawn. That's fine. Oh, it went for it in a mouse hold. I'm cool with that. All right, let's go for this. I don't need a Dream Punch. It's Rage Fist. Get in my Amoongus. Fire is definitely still a good Terra on it, but there are certain, like, situations where you don't want to run Fire on your, um, Annihilate. And being, like, a stall player, I know how good stall is into Annihilate. So I, like, just... I, I, I'm just aware of that and don't want to have to deal with that on my end. <laughs> There's D-Knight. Possibly Lum, possibly AV. Regardless, I'm gonna try to Spore. Nice, all right. I don't know if you can run Tantrum and be um, Lum, but I guess you can do it if you're AV, okay, or if you're Safety Goggles, yeah. <laughs> Let's go into Mouse. Um, I'm going to Pollen Puff to break a possible multi skill. Protect and go flutter. Nice. Cool. All right. Doesn't do too much, especially with that. I'm going to go ahead and just... I, I do have Friend Guard active, which I really like. Let me follow me away a hit and try to Moonblast this. Alright, this should drop since I'm Specs. And now, I, I like threatened quite a bit with just my Annihilate. He's not at plus one anymore, but he still has like a fully powered up Rage Fist. And there's not much this Flutter can do about it. Speed? Please be speed. Alright, nice. It is speed. They also spiky shielded last turn, and I have an Amoongus in the back. I always win by Rage Fisting into this slot and going for a Shadow Ball. Oh wait, I'm Moonblast locked. <laughs> okay, that's fine. And Moonblasting this. Or I guess I double. It doesn't matter. Because it's not AV. 
Yeah, let's just do it. Go for the hex, interesting. AO's nice. And a nice little KO here. Okay. So I know it was a little bit of a shorter stream, but I am going to end it there. I really have to go use the bathroom. And also, the Annihilate spread is a little goofy, so I'm going to fix that, and maybe we'll go live again on Monday with this team. Or Tuesday, actually. So yeah, thank you all for watching. Uh, sorry it was a little bit shorter, but... If you enjoyed, you know, if you're watching on YouTube, leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.